Our today's topic is complications of goiter in Mature's Healthy Life Video Productions on our Health Talks. Complications of goiter. In our previous video, we've talked about what is goiter. We talked about the causes of goiter, signs and symptoms, types and classes. So today is complications of goiter. One of the complications of goiter is dysphagia. Dysphagia is the difficulty in swallowing either food or fluid, that is water. One of the causes of this condition is when the tra the throat when the throat is being narrowed or constricted or entire blocked you understand the narrow the throat or the esophagus when it is blocked or narrowed it can cause difficulty in swallowing anything food fluid water anything then another one is dyspnea dyspnea is difficulty in breathing when the lumps of this same goiter constricts or narrows the airways that is the trachea when it narrows it makes it small you see that there will be difficulty in breathing. Yes, another one is heart disease. Hypothyroidism, that is reduced production of hormone of the thyroid. When it is not controlled, it can cause decrease in the volume of blood that is being produced by the heart. We call it cardiac output. So when it is reduced, it can also lead to SVE, that is systemic vascular resistance. And when there is systemic vascular resistance, you see that the, product, the supply of blood to the body will be difficult it will not be very okay to flow that can lead to hypertension yes that is sve systemic vascular resistance another one is peripheral neuropathy peripheral neuropathy now can lead to fluid retention yeah there will be fluid retaining in your body your body will start swelling yes it can also lead to swelling tissues as your body is swelling your body your tissues your hands and legs they will be swelling then it gives also pressure on the nervous uh, peripheral nerves in the body yes another one is infertility Goiter doesn't really cause infertility, but goiter can cause irregular menstrual, menstruation period. And when there's irregular menstruation period, you see that getting pregnant, pregnant or thereabout can be difficult. That is the association of goiter and, uh, and the pregnancy or infertility. Yes, another one is birth defect. When goiter is uncontrolled or hypothyroidism is uncontrolled, it gives problems in pregnancy. Problems like preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is a pre hypertension in pregnant woman it also can give anemia anemia is a reduced red blood cell in a pregnant woman it can also give to abortion abortion is the detachment of umbilical cord from the uterus or womb it also causes miscarriage you know what miscarriage is it also causes low birth weight low birth weight the, the child you give birth to will have a low weight it also it also causes still birth still birth is when a woman or a mother gives birth to a dead baby we call it still bed. Then in a rare conditions, this can cause congestive heart failure. Then another one is mysedema. Another name for mysedema is severe advanced hypothyroidism. This can lead to swelling and thickening of the skin. Yes, in a severe symptoms of this condition, it can lead to shock. And when it leads to shock, you see that it can lead to unconsciousness. And when there is unconsciousness, my brother, you see that around there is ROIP. So that is the risk, the complications of this condition, goiter. So it's a very, very serious condition. So my brothers and sisters, if you have watched this video, please share it. Hit the like button. Comment on the comment section. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mature Healthy Life. And also on our Facebook page, Mature Healthy Life. In our Facebook page, you'll be getting our updates. Then on our YouTube, all our works are there. You have to subscribe and choose and watch so that you maintain your health at a very maximum state. Thank you so much as you share.